This is a discussion of Micro Chapter 10 Externality, Externalities Question 2 from Aplia. This question is here really to talk about uh, how information matters. So right, the problem with regulation is that regulation is a blunt tool. So you have to either tell each firm to reduce pollution by X amount, or you have to cap their total, their total emissions. That sounds reasonable, but, but firms typically have different cost structures, and they're the only ones that know their cost structures. So the beauty of tradable pollution permits is that it allows firms with different cost structures to trade. So if you're an expensive, if your cost of reducing pollution is expensive, you can purchase permits from somebody else. So in this case, firm X is a fairly low cost uh, polluter. So it, it pollutes, the cost of eliminating the first unit of pollution for firm X is 95. Second one is 120, and the third one is 200. Firm Y, on the other hand, has very high pollution reduction costs. So it costs 450 to eliminate the first one, 800 to eliminate the second, and 1,050 to eliminate the third. So in a tradable pollution permit scenario, Firm Y is probably going to be a buyer. X and Z are probably going to be sellers. So let's look at this a little bit more. Um, this question first talks about... Uh, total costs if we eliminate um, pollution via regulation. So in this case, the government allowed each polluter to, to uh, emit two units of pollution. So for firm X, if they want to eliminate those two units of pollution, the first one will cost them 95, the second one will cost them 120. If you add those two together, 95 plus 120, you get 215. So So 95, I think I could find a plus sign on here, but I can't. Plus, there we go, 120, and that equals total pollution reduction costs of 215. The second firm, actually, let's put that in here too so you can see it. So 215. Second firm, the first one costs 450, the second one costs 800. So 800 plus 450 gives us total pollution reduction there of uh, 1250. Then the third firm, first one costs 80, the second one costs 100, and that gets his total pollution reduction costs of 80 plus 100, or 180. So it's much more efficient for the first two firms than it is for the third firm to eliminate production, to eliminate pollution. So what if we allow firms to trade permits, to buy and sell permits. So in this case, the government set the price of permits. You know it's going to be somewhere between the cost of eliminating a third unit of pollution for the low-cost firms and the, and the uh, cost of eliminating pollution of the first of the third firm. So if, so if we look at that third unit of pollution, cost firm Y $1,050, so we can't, they would not be willing to purchase a permit for more than that. And the other two firms would not be willing to sell pollution permits for less than their cost of eliminating the third unit, which is 200 or 150. So, firm X, they're going to sell, so the price that the, that the question gives us, which is 300 and some dollars, they're going to be willing to sell one permit. So if they sell one permit, they're left with only one permit. That means they're eliminating the first, the second, and the third unit of pollution. So the cost of pollution reduction for them is 95 plus 120 plus 200, which is 415. Z, the third firm, is also willing to sell a permit. And you remember that in the question, it actually tells us we buy one permit from each firm also, so that's a given. Obviously, there, in real life, there'd be some negotiation going on here, but the, the question actually gives us that. So firm Z would sell one permit, so they would eliminate the $80 one, the $100 one and 150 
for a total cost of $330 to eliminate their pollution. From Y has then purchased two permits. They're now going to lim they're, they're now going to emit their entire four units of pollution. So there they so there is no uh, pollution eliminated from firm Y. So if you add that up, we end up with six units of pollution happening still. In this case, four from firm Y, one from firm X, and one from firm Z. The total cost of eliminating this pollution was 415 plus 330, or 745. So the question made that a little bit simpler, right? Because really there was another cost out there because firm Y purchased that, but the question said ignore that. So 745 was what it cost to eliminate six units of uh, pollution here. So, so in this case, we can conclude that eliminating pollution is less costly to society when the government distributes tradable permits than when it regulates each firm to eliminate a certain amount of pollution. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please give me a call or send me an email, and I will respond.